to my YouTube channel. My name is Edwin. My name is Fresha Wakabi. So Fresh Wakabi is a YouTube channel, a YouTuber, and I'm a YouTuber also. Uh, kindly follow her and subscribe to her YouTube, her YouTube channel. Okay. Kindly follow my YouTube channel and subscribe. Yeah. The link below. I'll put a link below. I wanted us to talk about houses. Mm -hmm. What do you know about houses uh, uh, in Qatar? In short, form, let me not put houses. Let me put it in um, more. Uh, more, <laughs> more bureaucratic or more bureaucracy. Yeah. Uh, real estate. Oh, you're talking about real estate. Yes. Uh, I think for what I know, if uh, that is a question, I know that um, we. For me, I know about accommodation because <laughs> <laughs> my company, which I'm working for right now, mm. it, it provides for me accommodation. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, okay. basically that and one. Then, we yeah. have. Uh, um, other houses like yeah. uh, studio houses. Yes, we have one bedroom, two bedroom yeah. villas, villa apartments. Yeah, yeah, and like that. So you just know the basic. The basic, yeah. Okay. I don't really know much. Okay, now I, I'm, I'm here to educate you. Someone mm -hmm. or two yes, things. Yes, please do. So in Qatar, we have a, uh, uh, it's it's a very sophisticated real estate industry. Okay. It's unlike home, mm -hmm. where is you can just look for a house mm. and get here most of the house when you look for them you know what they ask you no <laughs> where are you from <laughs> <laughs> okay i've heard that a lot <laughs> i've heard that a lot yeah. they ask you oh, where are you from mm. if they say i'm from nigeria that guy will cut the phone on the other side and will, that's it and there. yeah i don't know why they do it and mm. it's not good yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Like it's supposed to be for everyone. As yes. long as you can be able to pay. Yes. It's supposed to be for everyone. There, there is a stereotype mm. that, that they've put Nigerians in, they've mm. put Kenyans in, they've yeah, put India, Sri Lanka, Filipinos. In. Yes. Yeah. And that stereotype is not good. Mm -mm, it's, it's really not, not really. good because that's like being racist. Yes. Yeah. If if a Kenyan did something wrong, mm. that doesn't mean all Kenyans are wrong. Are wrong, right. Yeah. If one Nigerian did something wrong it to you... It mean like all of yes. them did, are wrong. Yes. Yeah. So, they have stereotyped people mm. and uh, even if you look for a house, mm. they will ask, are you a man or a woman? Yeah. Do you have a wife or you don't? Yes. Do you have babies? They ask uh, like personal questions. <laughs> Just because you're, 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 you're looking for to rent a house. They are not even yeah. free. But some point, mm. at some point, I understand where they are coming from. Okay. Uh, at some point, you'll find that some houses or some apartments okay. for family only. Yes. And then you see when they say like they 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 let everyone in. Yeah. Uh, like they bring a millennial. Yeah. And then uh, you you guys will go there, start bringing parties. Some <laughs> <you know, laughs> <laughs> people kids are sleeping. They have school tomorrow. Or uh, or maybe you'll find that the the the, the you know the, mm. the country itself is very conservative. Yes. Uh, yes. With their tradition, with their uh, is, is culture, culture yeah. Yeah. religious uh, religion yeah so they feel like uh when they take some people there uh mm. like uh, some of but, them will uh, uh, hold with us mm. Catharis do not live in those houses yeah you're right but you have other people who are also yes perhaps, yeah. yes but the locals they usually live in a full villa yeah. or if they've rented a, like, an uh, apartment uh, they've rented it in the city center true yeah we right. don't stay in the kijijis <laughs> <laughs> you understand yeah. so that's the thing that i don't like with mm -hmm. this uh, real estate uh, industry mm -hmm. the good thing that i like is mm -hmm. if once you get the house mm -hmm. you have a contract okay so you can yeah you have a contract and you can only leave once your contract is done like you they will ask you for how long you want to stay yeah so there's six uh, six month contract there is one year contract mm -hmm. so it depends which one you want? What if uh, you take a six months contract? Yes. Something comes up and you want to, to move. No problem. You just need to inform the landlord, like uh, or the agent, mm. like six months or two months before mm -hmm. before you leave. And give them a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you must give them a valid reason. Okay. And after that, once it's finished, if you want to renew, you can renew. Mm. Once you sign the contract, they cannot come back again and tell you now. Next month you have to put more money. No. The a of a contract, right? Yes, uh, that's one thing. And the other thing is, they are furnished houses, and they are semi-furnished houses, and they are not furnished houses. Oh yeah. For me, I think I would prefer to go with a furnished house. How it, is it like for it you? It comes. It comes with a lot of uh, responsibilities. If you have a furnished house, oh, yeah? 
once the time that reach that you go home, mm. any scratch you'll pay for it. So you would rather buy your own? Yeah, I'd mm. rather buy my own because they will tell you, let's say for example, if you had a dog or a cat or a mm. kid who just will grow in the yeah. world, they will give you some amount of money, a ridiculous amount of money you should, that you should be paying. Mm. So it's not good. It's better you go to an empty house, mm. you furnish it, mm. and then when you finish, you can sell the furniture. Yeah. If you sell the furnitures, <laughs> there's some guy from Kenya there who was saying hi. <laughs> so if you sell the furnitures, you'll get some money back. Yeah. So that's from my side. Mm. But if you're coming here for like three months or six months contract mm. and you're leaving, mm. it's better to go to a furnished house than a hotel. I told you it would be very expensive. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because a hotel here goes from 500 to 600 or 400 there a, a night. Day, yeah, yes. like a night, yeah. Yeah, it's very expensive. So that's the other thing. Uh -huh. And the other thing that you should know about uh, houses is a studio mm -hmm. is totally it's uh, comparable to a bed a sitter bed yeah. back home. Yeah, we call them bed sitter yeah. back at home. And it's damn expensive. A bed sitter, the expensive one, you'd get it at 8,000 or 10,000, right? Yeah. The most expensive. Here. Two thousand. It doesn't like our Kenyan money. Yes. Yeah, but here it's uh, two thousand, the cheapest, maybe fifteen, seventeen, and yes. it's something very tiny. And it's in a very stingy. Yeah, probably sharing some at the kitchen with someone else. It's that cheap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're living like you're living in a slum. Yeah. Right? If you're paying that money, you're living in a slum, and it's. And not, that's around how much? Around. It's, it's six, almost six, 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 yeah. uh, almost seventy thousand Kenyan shillings. For a bed sitter. Yes. It's true. And you pay for water and electricity. Mm. Wi Fi. Wi Fi. The water and electricity is included to that money. Mm -hmm. But you don't use, you rarely use it because yeah. you're always at work. Yeah, and even if you use, you're not using that much. Yes. So, so that is the one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is Wi Fi. Mm. Some dealers usually have a, a shared Wi Fi. Like mm. me, I'm, ha I'm lucky. Mm. I have a shared Wi Fi where I'm saying So yeah. I, on my rent, I, Wi Fi is there it included. Is, oh, it's included. Yes. And is it like st as strong as yours would be? Yeah. Mm, it does it because it's the home Wi Fi. It? Yeah, I work with it, everything. Mm. Boom. YouTube. Because nowadays, who, who, who pays for cable TV? No one. It's YouTube. Yeah, it's YouTube. Everyone, the TV went back to YouTube. Mm. So, with technology. That's why we're telling guys to subscribe. Yeah. So, and the houses that goes up to 7,000, like college area, mm. one bedroom would go from 7,000 upwards. That's a lot. Yes. A stu not, a one not a one bedroom, a studio. A studio? Yes, in college. None furnished? Yes. You buy your own bed? Yeah. That's why Konich is separately, it's separately like for the British people. Most mm -hmm. British people say in Konich, mm. that area and the Europeans. And you know these people are running a lot of money. Yeah, they earn a lot of money yeah. because some people are getting like 60, 70 Gs, mm. 30 yeah. Gs. For, yes, 30,000, uh, yeah. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So you want 100,000. Are you very good for a studio? Mm, yeah, okay. And, they, and you, that 7,000 that you're paying there for a studio, mm. you have again to pay for your uh, AC. Imagine. Yes. They do? Yeah. Wow. It's called uh, chilling. Chilling or what? Uh, AC. You have to pay for your AC in the house. I didn't know that. Yeah. Ah. So like separately? Pay. Yeah. Why though? I don't know. But you have to pay for your AC separately. You mm. have to pay for your electricity separately. Uh, and electric electricity comes with water. That's a good thing with Qatar. Mm -mm. Electricity comes karama. with Karama. It's called Karama. Ah. Yes. It's and uh, the other thing is... Uh, flats you can there are some areas where flats are not allowed to be built mm. so you'll find mostly villas yeah and there's some area town almost town areas is where you'll see a lot of flats yeah yeah you're right yeah, like mamura mongolina those areas you'll see flats, flats, flats yeah, yeah but if you go to garafa you'll rarely see a flat True. you'll see only villas because those are family areas mm. if you go to wakra the on the other side you'll see also family villas mm. if you go to alhor because in, in yeah, you're from the villas and stuff. Mm. And the other uh, good thing about renting in Qatar is the landlord repairs everything. Even when, yeah, when uh, the AC busts, uh, you just give them a call. Yes, mm. but if you live in Kunich, mm. <laughs> you pay for it. Yes, yeah. that's the call. They call it cooling fee. Yes, cooling fee. Cooling fee. Yeah. Cooling fee. <laughs> that's what they call it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's because, new. I didn't know that. Yeah, because you know it's near the beach mm. and it gets more hot. Okay. Hotter than when we are other place. Uh, yeah, no, we, we, no, are, we are inland mm. and we are almost at the shore. Yeah. So that one thing heat mm. and humidity. Yeah. 
also it gets hot. But they have a good view. Have you been there? I know. I've seen them. Even yeah. if I've not been there to any of them, you can see from outside. Like that they person have a view. Have They've a been to like view. a place like um, even the Pearl. The Pearl. Mm. the view. Well, there are some apartments I recently saw near the La Vendome plus Vendome uh, Mall. Palace Vendome. Yeah. God, they are so mm, they're building, you, but the you, price. You have a balcony, like you can see the, I, the whole. I, one. I have a colleague who stays near there. He pays the house for like five thousand reals. Which size? It's a one bedroom. One bedroom. Yeah. Oh, and I'm like, how, why do you pay five thousand real for a house? Yes. Like not a family. He has he has his family, yeah. but re, even though we have cheaper places, like yeah, we have cheaper places. Yeah, five thousand you can get like a three bedroom. You just save the money for a vacation. Or something. Yeah, you, you so, do I something, know. but people it vacation depends. In Europe. <laughs> <laughs> vacation in Europe. Yeah, same I would love to go to Bahamas, not Europe. <laughs> <laughs> or Barbados, or so. yeah, I don't have, I don't have a visa issue. Or, or uh, Vegas, Las yeah, Vegas? Las Vegas. I would love to go to those area. Yeah. Uh, somewhere um, tropical. Mm, Miami. Yeah, Miami, Florida. Uh, the other thing about uh, real estate here is uh, it's really strange because it's it's like uh, companies which are running. They are companies, yeah, you agencies. Can, yeah, you can't really just go to an, an owner and then like. Oh, own. you can go directly to the. You know, you know the like home that you'll find a house and mm, the owner is the landlord. Yeah, it's just. Here you can't find it. It's not oh, easy. Okay. So you have to go to a company. You need someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that agents. landlord, yeah, landlord has created a company mm. and then you go to that company. Mm. Yeah. They don't own disturbance. No, no, no. Mm. Uh, what else? What else in the houses? When it's when it's summer, some of the AC, most ACs die. Oh God! <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, they do. Like, yeah. Almost all, all the time. Yeah, they break, keep break, leaking. break. Yeah. And if that thing leaks it, on top if, of your bed, if it you're does done. Not work, you can't yeah. even sleep. You can't sleep. You can't sleep. Oh, you can't sleep. It goes up to 40, 50 degrees sometimes. And the rooms don't have ventilation. Yeah. So if that AC fails you, you're done. Yeah. You're done. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh, if you need more, kindly subscribe. We'll give you more information about uh, the real estate here. And also, if we have some time, we'll go to the houses and show you how they are and how much they cost. Yeah. And uh, I think that's it for today. Bye. Bye. A peace.